Okay, so welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another video. This is going to be a quick little video where I want to show you guys the next step. This is actually a three week update of when since I did the lawn renovation. So, three weeks. And um, everything is coming in real nicely. Um, I want to make sure I'm going to actually just feed it a quick little feeding of uh, Melorganite. Nothing too strong, just a little basic feeding just to keep the nutrients in the soil, keep the uh, grass growing nice and strong. Um, just so it has enough little, like basically food to feed off of. Um, it's a little later in the evening tonight, but I want to get this uh, quick uh, Melorganite feeding down and show you guys the yard real quick. So stay tuned. All right, so um, this is the yard. This is a 21st day update. And now, as you can see, this area right here is a little on the thinner side, but like I said before in the previous video, we do not want to throw any more seeds down because as you can see, some of this uh, grass is still in the sprout stage. Some grass, some grass actually filled in a lot uh, faster, but some areas are taking a little time. So I'm not going to throw and seed anything as of yet. Um, I'm just going to see where it's at after it fully grows in. And then I'll go from there. I know people want to get impatient and start throwing down seeds and say, oh, I got to fix these uh, thin areas. But you don't really know yet. This is 21st day in. Um, so you still got time. It's on the cooler side. So do not throw any more seeds down as of yet. It looks like this area is going to be thin, but just give it a little time. That's all I say. Um, let's take a look. But as you can see, everything looks pretty good. 21 days in three weeks this is officially three weeks to the day that i actually did the um lawn renovation broke the soil up planting my seeds down but i am getting attacked by i am getting attacked by this is onion grass and i know it's onion grass because it smells like onion back here but it, it's wild onion so and as you see it's on the lighter side so this is my regular grass this is onion grass and it stinks um it's not from the the straw i know most of you are probably going to think it's from the straw but it's not from the straw because um i actually had onion smell back here before i even did the renovation so it was already in the soil the onion seed weed seed was already in the soil so it wasn't from the straw so i do not know if like the straw actually planted any other weed seeds in there but a lot of this onion grass is all in one area here as you see here but it's tangled up into the good grass so i can't do anything about it just yet because it's still in the baby stage i can't weed and feed it yet or anything like that because the grass is not strong enough to take all of that um chemical on it right now so i have to deal with it but this back area here it's doing a lot better than I thought it would do. And um, it, it surprised me. This is actually the best part of the yard. It's actually growing a lot thicker. This part is actually ready to be kind of mowed or most people will uh, use a real molar, a real mower. Excuse my uh, tongue twister there. But most people will use a real mower. I don't have one right now. So I'm just gonna let it grow in a lot thicker before I start mowing it, before I put a lawnmower on top of it. but guys can see the yard has came out it's coming along very nice just got to be patient that's all this is only three weeks in and just look at it it looks like it got bare spots but it's three weeks in I know a lot of people want to uh, be impatient and throw down more seeds do not do it and I'm getting some onion grass here it's, it's amazing because none else is coming in like crabgrass or nut sedge. It's all onion grass. <laughs> I don't know. Onion weed is, is infesting this backyard here. And it's, it's crazy. But like I said, this spot is still bare. But it's baby grass coming in also. See? It's coming in. It just hasn't grown in thick enough yet like the rest of the yard. So. Do not be scared or nervous about anything. This is what happens during a lawn renovation. Um, you're gonna have some parts growing a lot thicker than others, but you just gotta 
just wait and let the other parts of the grass catch up that's all um this is the back corner once again the grass is growing in it's very spotty but it is growing in so just take your time be patient like also back here next to the fence that i repaired got grass growing in i don't know if you guys can see it it's a little dark but it is growing in this part is actually taking the longest this is 21 days and this part is just now sprouting up so like i said you can't rush the process gotta be patient but let's go ahead and get down this good old malorganite down just to make sure we got the proper nutrients in the, in the, uh, the grass here so it can keep growing and feeding and keep growing strong and then we'll go from there basic malorganite 640 just the rest of it it's the rest of the bag that i actually used during the first um when i started the renovation so i'm just going to use the rest of this and lightly feed it And see, it's that simple. Just a quick little light malorganite feeding. That's all you need at this point. Three weeks in, just want to keep it very light just to have the proper nutrients in the soil. And then you'll go from there. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in. It's getting late. 